Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that I have not made a video in a long time. Ugh, sorry, I kicked all my kids out and all the animals out except for Pumpkin because if I didn't, she would just meow in the hallway the whole time because she's a little obsessed with mom and doesn't like to be separated. You can see how big these kitties have gotten. They're almost, they're about five months old now. I'm sorry, love. Okay. Um, they're getting fixed August 16th. So cross fingers that everyone will make it till then. Um, so if you guys have been following my Instagram, you guys know my whole family got COVID. I definitely got it the worst. So I sound still a little congested. I took Mucinex and Sudafed, but it doesn't seem to do a whole lot, um, against COVID mucus apparently. Um, so if I sound weird or whatever, that's why I feel mostly recovered from it, except for my sinus situation. So um, I, yeah, so I haven't made a video in a while. I mean, it's definitely been a goal of mine this year to spend less time on wax, not just less money, but also less time. And that was on Instagram and YouTube. Um, and I, that's going to be something that is going to continue, uh, even more into next year. Um, when I get a big haul or a big pre-order or whatever, and if I feel like making a video, I will. Or if I feel like making a wax empties video, I will. Also, even though my kids are a little bit older, um, they're now 11, nine, and two eight-year-olds, no matter what conversation I have with them about not coming in the room, they constantly come in the room and it's just distracting and yeah. But they start school again, um, end of August or so. Um, so we'll see if we feel like, if I feel like doing videos. Um, cause when they go back to school, I definitely want to get back to going, you know, to the gym. I might do some, um, like humane society volunteering and stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll see. I still enjoy wax a lot. It's just not like my main hobby focus kind of thing anymore. Um, not that I have one that's bigger than wax. I still love wax so much. Um, but it's just been fun spending more like family time versus like, I don't know, wax time, if that makes any sense. Um, couple things I always tell you guys in my videos, which lip I have on lippy. Um, you can see here, this is one of the new Maybelline, um, ink, but it's the vinyl, vinyl, however you want to say it, inks. This is the color 35 Cheeky. So I like these kind of lip colors. Um, this is really, it's one of those like long wearing ones, but it's not matte. Matte lipstick doesn't always look the best on me. So I always like to have something a little shiny. Um, I've only worn this a couple times, so we'll see how the formula ends up, you know, being, but I like it so far. Um, and then, oh crap, I was going to tell you guys something else. Oh, my piercings. I've been posting about my piercings on my ears. I've been kind of obsessed with that lately. Um, although my piercer that you see about 15 minutes away is now like 40 minutes away by my job actually, but my work hours, like I clock in at 6 20 in the morning and clock out at like 7 PM. And she's never there on the times or days that like I'm on or off work. So I have to drive down to see her on an off day. So I definitely want more piercings and stuff like that, but I'm letting what I have right now heal. Um, so I'd had the first two holes down here for a long time. I had done my thirds myself during the pandemic um, but I think I pierced them at a weird angle and they never really healed very well. So she did my thirds, um, few, or, well, it's been like six, seven weeks ago. Those are basically healed. Sometimes this third one on my left ear gets a little bit mad for some reason. Um, and I've had to kind of really figure out which earrings I can put into it. Cause it seems to be thicker. This lobe over here seems to be a little thicker than the right one. I don't know. So like these hoops that are in the lobes here, I can't put up there because that one's still a little inflamed or something, but it doesn't hurt. Um, I have really tiny ear lobes. This one in my first hole is a six millimeter. This is a five millimeter in my second lobe. Um, I had to get them off Etsy because you can't find the five millimeter ones very easily. I have really teeny, teeny lobes. And then if you guys remember, I had three what they call flat piercings done here. If you can see the two bottom ones have been removed. That top one is doing fine. I got that top one done and it was doing <clears throat> great. And then a week or two weeks later, she had this sale for when my piercer did for when she was moving to her next studio and all the piercings were basically 50% off or 
something. So normally they are $40 a piece. So they were $20 a piece. So I was like, oh, let me get my next two done. Um, I get everything pierced in titanium, but there I got a cellulitis in these. I went on antibiotics that cleared for like a week and then it happened again. I think for me, I just need to get like one piercing at a time or like one on each ear kind of a thing at a time, not more than one on, you know, per ear and let it heal for like a month or two before I go in to get something else. I mean, that's just what I'm thinking. So they got this really inflamed. You can see I still have two dots there. Um, if I mess with that ear too much, those two spots still get really worked up. So those are going to have to heal for like probably a good year before I even try to go back. Because as many of you know that have piercings, cartilage piercings take about a year to like fully heal. So um, you can see in that top one, I have threadless jewelry in. So I have the same post in that I got it pierced with. Well, not pierced with, but that got put in when I got pierced. I've just changed the top. I have a Buddha organics, uh, green moss agate in there right now. And then, like I said, I got my third holes on here. My phone's kind of moved. I also got my Rook done. That was actually my very first one of these new piercings. This Rook, a lot of people say that their Rook piercing hurts so much. Um, I literally, this was like a zero out of 10 pain getting it pierced. I, I literally felt like I felt a movement and she was done. It was weird. And then I've had zero problems with it, like flaring up, being painful, like anything. It's in my easiest, easiest piercing. Um, this isn't what it was pierced with. I, just because I haven't been able to get down to her, I actually custom ordered a Neo Metal Adonized Titanium with like fake emeralds in it. Um, I had them adonize it gold, even though it doesn't look as much of a true gold as, you know, these down here. Um, then I had them put emerald emerald in it um because that's my birthstone my birthday's in May um so anyways eventually I mean I want that this smaller one now to heal for at least a year and I think eventually I'll put a hoop in it I'm not sure and then randomly I just really wanted a mid helix done um so yesterday um we went for a drive got my kids ice cream and stuff and there was just a piercing shop, piercing shop up here closer to me. Um, they were like APP certified, all the things. And I was like, I just want to get the piercing done and healed. So by the time I go to my actual piercer down in Salt Lake, um, I can get something like downsized and cuter in it. But this is just a titanium like post ball. Um, I don't want to touch it because it literally was pierced yesterday. But I love the placement. Um, the guy that did it made like five or six different slap. Uh, markings and I picked which one I wanted and that's exactly where I wanted it. Um, and then down the line, I'm going to get one right above it. So it looks like it's, they call it sometimes like a vampire bite, like where there's two right next to each other. But I just do not want to risk getting more than one at a time because of what happened over here. So I got that one. Then when I go see my piercer, um, where I'm saving up kind of for a nice threadless end, I'm going to be getting a conch, like a high conch over here. Um, and then maybe an upper forward helix here. Um, I can't get, well, I could, but I can't, the tragus and the daith, I can't really get because I use a stethoscope at work like all day long. I'm a respiratory therapist. So even though I could get those, they'd be such high risk for like bad healing and infection that I don't think I'm going to end up getting them. But anyways, I know a couple of you guys have asked me about my piercings. And so that's what we're doing so far. So yeah, I have the three bottom holes on each side. This side I have a flat. This side I have a mid helix and the rook. Definitely going to end up getting a conch. One more helix over here. Eventually, I want at least one more of these flats replaced and then a forward helix. And that's all I have planned so far. Um, I used to, when I was younger, I had my nose pierced. I loved it. I don't know if I'd ever get it redone. I might. I think they're really cute. Um, but I just, it never healed really well. Also, like... I'm a little bit older. I'm 36. When I was a teenager and got it done, um, the healing instructions were much different than they are now. It used to be like, move it around and turn it and clean it with like crazy things. Now it's like, keep your hands off it, don't touch it, and just sterile saline. And so maybe it would heal better. But also as I've gotten older and live in Utah, I have so many allergies. I just don't think it'd be worth it to get a nose ring, even though I think they're adorable. Um, and other than that, yeah. So there's my update. A bunch of people on Instagram have asked me to like talk about them. So there you go.
But what this is, is a Teddy B's pre-order haul. And this is why I had to make a video because I feel like every Teddy B's pre-order in the wax world is just like epic. <laughs> it's just, it must be spoken about. And this, um, this last pre-order, the list was my favorite list of hers that I've ever seen. Um, but it was during a time when I was like, and, and still even now, when I'm like, you know, life is really expensive right now for many different reasons. Um, and I could have easily spent $500 on this pre-order. I did not. Um, I went to like way smaller. So I made a list. I cut it in half. That was super hard. And then when I went to go place it, I even cut that down like a third. And the initial list was like, these are just my like needs. <laughs> so I wanted way more scents than this and much larger amounts of the scents that I wanted. So I actually only got two loaves and they're in the same scent. And then I got tubs and souffles. So this is way more pared down than I've ever done on a Teddy B's pre-order. I wanted way more than this. Scents that she offered were like magnificent and I didn't get them, not because I didn't want them, but because financially I was like, we have buckets of wax hold it down. And also, <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys know Tiffany and Teddy B's, you know that her, her winter fall pre-order is like, is so beyond epic because she does amazing like tree Palo Santo blends. And even though I love her fresh summer or spring, that kind of stuff, that stuff's coming up. And I knew I really wanted to maybe go bigger on that. I don't know. Um, uh, I've really loved this last year. I have melted tree scents all year long and they feel like they fit in the hot weather, cold weather, whatever. So I knew that was going to be coming up next, if that makes sense. So anyways, here's the card that Tiff always puts out, um, has all her information on it. I love these square cards. She always packs the box with these little, I call them like zigzags. Um, I think they're brown. Uh, let's see. Okay. And everything is packaged really well in bubble wrap. I only bought one ice pack. I think for my order, like I was right on the edge of, I probably should have ordered two, but I just ordered the one. So we'll see how everything is. This was in a parcel locker um, outside and it's a hundred degrees here today. A uh, little, oh, pumpkin, don't eat them. She's getting the zigzags. They're gonna be all over my room. At least they're paper. Um, so, but I did watch the tracking. Like I refreshed it like every 20 minutes. So like, the longest it was in that parcel locker was 20 minutes. <laughs> so, okay. So let me just do, I'm trying to figure out, I just opened this box like right here. So I haven't even dug through it. Maybe I'll do, um, all the souffles I got. I'll do souffles first. Bah! Or, oh no, I just found my sample. I think I only have one sample. Okay. So my first sample is Michael. I really wanted this one, um, but I cut it out. But this is definitely a Danny scent. I it doesn't have the notes on here. Last time the samples did, but they didn't this time. Oh, uh, I remember it being a mahogany teak wood blend, though. Michael, as in, um, oh my gosh, I cannot get this out. As in the Halloween movie, but it's was it's I believe it was a mahogany teak wood blend. Yeah, and something musky. Oh man. This is so good. The reason I cut it out, I had a little reason why I cut out different scents. Um, I love, I do love the smell of mahogany teak wood very much, but it also like sets my sinuses ablaze. I hate it because there are so many really masculine cologne scents that my brain loves um, that my sinuses do not. So I'm so happy to smell this one. Um, I'm so glad this is my sample because I've been I wanted it um, and it does smell very good, but it also smells like one that might piss my sinuses off. So if I ever get a hold of some, it would probably be like in a souffle. Okay, so did I really only get two souffles? Maybe I did. If I come upon another one, sorry if it's out of order. Um, so the first souffle I have here is Summer of Love and this is mango, tangerines, dragon fruit, papaya, jasmine, and coconut leaves. And this was poured on July 9th. Mm, yeah. This is very, oh, I like that colorful glitter on there. I'm not gonna pull these out of the tins because as you guys know, Teddy B's wax is very soft and the tins kind of get malformed when you pop them out. I definitely get the tangerine, the possible like dragon fruit, papaya. 
mango. And because there's like jasmine and coconut leaves, this is more of like a fruity floral. Almost, almost like a body care, like a very fruity body care. So very pretty. I wanted to get just a couple summer scents um, to like end the summer with because I do really like some of um, Tiff's fruity scents. Summer scents are really good. Like um, her hot girl summer from last year was out of this freaking world. Um, the next one, I should have gotten more of this. Um, but once again, I never had it before. I didn't know that I loved it. Excuse me. And um, I love Tiff's lavender, but it's not my favorite lavender. So I just got a souffle of this. Um, so this is called Lavender Sky, and this is White Clouds, Lavender Vanilla, Marshmallow and Magnolias, and a hint of Salty Sierra. And blues are my favorite colors, so of course I love this. Oh, man. See, I should have gotten more of this. Oh, I was going to say, even though I have co or had COVID and my sinuses still sound like this, I didn't really lose my sense of smell. I did kind of get like a charred or singed kind of scent added, but I didn't really lose my sense of smell. So just so you guys know. Okay, so I'm mostly here. I'm getting her marshmallow and magnolias, which is kind of like the boardwalk marshmallow clouds. But it's offset by just a touch of lavender vanilla and salty sea air that it doesn't smell like it. Oh, pumpkin juice is so sweet. She just made herself a little donut on a pillow and giving herself a bath. So, okay, I know I said I'm not going to pop them out, but I just want to pop this one out. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to say on the bottom, I smell more of the lavender vanilla. I'm going to say lavender vanilla, then marshmallow magnolias, touch, tiniest touch of salty sierra, tiniest touch of white clouds. So it is beautiful. It is mostly a lavender vanilla kind of boardwalk marshmallow cloud blend. Um, my, <clears throat> myself, I guess kind of has overdone boardwalk marshmallow clouds like a year ago. And I still haven't come back to it but if that's also you it's not like able to be singled here so much it's blended so well that you really don't get it by itself for that effect if that makes sense this really is beautiful perfect name for it lavender sky okay next up i got let's see one two three four five souf or uh, buckets what are they called again tubs tubs um, and I loved her tubs so much last time. So I was so happy she offered her, offered them again. I think they're such a good size. If you don't want to buy a loaf, but you, the souffle is not enough. I just think the tubs are so good. Now, if you truly just like love a scent so much and you want to put it in your whole house, it's not enough for that. But it's really good for scents that you know you like, that you want a good amount of, but not a loaf. So, and I'm not saying that about this one. I could have easily gotten multiple loaves of this, but Hot Girl Summer. If you guys got this one last year, you know. If you got this, you know. Hot Girl Summer is one of her beach treats blends. So it has her beach nights in it and it's amazing. So Hot Girl Summer is crisp melon, island coconut, palm leaves, and a hint of beach treats, which is her beach nights. Um, if you guys follow me for a long time, you know I don't like melon, but whatever is in this, I love. And she did it kind of the same color last time too, this like super hot pink. And oh, it just... It has that beach nights in it, but it absolutely, I get a palm leaf like vibe, like hot, humid air blowing through palm leaves and like a just beautiful person enjoying themselves by a pool. Mm. This is like summer, like peaceful summer perfection. And I wouldn't, to me, this doesn't smell like the beach. To me, this smells like you are at a very like rich person's house and they're you're by you're lounging by a very fancy pool in the evening and it's like calm and quiet and there's like cool and warm humid breeze just blowing around oh this is like high end in my opinion beautiful lounging by a very expensive pool for me, it threw, it throws super well. I've melted through two loaves of it before, so I don't know why I thought one of these was going to be enough, but I was trying to hold back. Like I said, love Hot Girl Summer. Will continue to be a purchase for me. Love it so much. Um, okay, this next tub, I heard a lot about on the page. A lot of people love this one, and it's kind of like a me scent. Also, um, this is called Cotton Soft Vanilla, and this is vanilla, tonka bean, musk, and soft laundry. So... 
a few people posted that they blended this with some other ones too and all their blends sounded fabulous oh this is good what laundry is it so i'm definitely getting vanilla let's see i definitely get like a vanilla bean almost mm. yeah that musk yeah musk because it's vanilla tonka bean musk it's like this pretty feminine slightly deeper vanilla musk with those three together it's like a very musky sexy skin scent but laundry but less laundry than like i'm used to this would oh that was very soft i don't even know what laundry that is i literally just made finger marks in that by popping it out <laughs> um this the laundry in here is very very soft i can't even figure out what the laundry in here is is it like the softest white clouds ever it might be this is definitely cotton soft vanilla is a perfect name because you definitely don't, this is not a straight up laundry. This could easily be a laundry scent for a laundry hater. <laughs> I, oh, that is very sexy in a soft, musky skin scent kind of way. Very, very pretty. I see why everyone loved that one so much. Um, okay, next one up. People went crazy over this one. I'm pretty sure this next one was a scent that she... I think it was new. I could be wrong, but I think it was new. It hadn't been put in a pre-order yet, but then she did the last RTS and made a couple new scents up and this was one of them. And people that purchased it and received it were like, this is amazing. So she put it in this pre-order. I think that's how that went. This is called Island Bakery and this is pineapple, peach nectar, tropical fruits, slight hint of coconut milk, strawberry pound cake and iced lemon cookies. And people went ham over this. So I was like, I will get a tub of it. And I love this color. The only thing about this color from any vendor, it stains my melter so badly. Mmm, okay. <laughs> this smells like the creamiest rainbow sherbet that you could have tropicalized. So like if you took rainbow sherbet, but then like poured like a sweet coconut milk over the top, that's almost how this smells. Like a, like a tropical rainbow sherbet, but sweetened a little bit. Okay, I'm not even going to pop that one out and destroy it. This is like the most delicious. Like you've just opened a thing of rainbow sherbet with sweet coconut milk pour over. This is delicious. I don't get bakery vibes from this at all. There is a creamy sweetness to it. It says iced lemon cookies, which I can smell... But if I didn't read that, I wouldn't know that it was lemon cookies. I think the lemon in it is making the tropical fruits and all that stuff smell more like rainbow sherbet-y. And because there's just so many different fruits in here, I don't get like strawberry pound cake, lemon cookies, peach nectar. I do smell pineapple, which is a note in rainbow sherbet, so... Yes, this is like a sweeter, creamier, the most delicious rainbow sherbet I've ever smelled. I mean, this is perfect for summer. Very fun, bright, zesty. That smells like it's going to be strong. That is definitely mouth-watering. Love that. Okay, this next tub is one that people have talked about for a long time. Um, this is two cents together, so it's layered. So I might have to try to pop this one out. Hopefully I don't ruin it. Um, I love the color. I think it's green, but this is a double layer. So this is down in Kokomo and it's five o'clock somewhere. So this says pineapple, mango zest, passion fruit, green apple, orchid leaves, guava, and sweet berries layered with frozen lime margarita, champagne bubbles, and sweet lime. So I've never smelled either of these separately. So, ooh, on the top. Let's see what I think that one is. Okay, I think the top is the pineapple, mango zest, passion fruit, green apple, orchid leaves, and guava. Because I get a lot of um, passion fruit on the top. I get mostly passion fruit. Like passion fruit starburst almost on the top. Okay, and then the bottom is supposed to smell like frozen lime margarita, champagne bubbles, and sweet lime. Ooh, look at the confetti glittery stuff on the bottom. Okay, oh, I don't want to ruin it. Sorry, guys. Oh, and I did. Oh yeah, that is a very limey bottom. I actually, 
I think I would like it's five o'clock somewhere by itself, but I don't think I'd like down in Kokomo by itself because it literally smells like a passion fruit starburst. But together, I like it because the bottom legitimately smells like a frozen lime, like super bright, zesty lime margarita. So passion fruit to my nose sometimes can smell very like overripe. So that super zesty lime together, like for me, saves that. So I'm happy to have this. I will definitely get this melted um, or try to by summer or save it for next year. Cause this is like a summer only blend, <laughs> but that is nice. Okay, and then my last tub, I believe, let me just kind of dig through here to see if there's anything else besides my uh, loaves. Nope, okay. So my last tub is one that I have had before. I love so much that I easily could have gotten two loaves up as well. But I also told myself to hold, reel it in and hold it back. But I, this is a huge love of mine. So this is the Riverlands and Riverlands, however you want to say that. And this is Palo Santo, Cool Mountain Air, Balsam Patchouli, Crisp Melon, Cedar, Crunchy Leaves, and Sandalwood. And um, I love Tiff's Palo with all my heart. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I know a lot of you that are watching this have probably smelled the Riverlands before. Ugh, it is making my mouth water. Even though this is not a foodie one, these kind of scents make my mouth water. Ugh. I know that it says um, crisp melon. If you're not a melon lover, don't worry about that. All I think that does is kind of smooths over the earthy stuff and maybe adds a touch of sweetness. So don't worry about that. I think if it didn't list it, I wouldn't even know it was there. But man, I get that Palo Santo, cool mountain air, balsam, but it's not a winter tree scent. Crunchy leaves for sure. Sandalwood, oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. This is a, my baby right here. This is beautiful. If you are an earthy, woodsy lover, Riverlands and this one throws like a freaking banshee like easily 10 out of 10 Okay, and then my uber Baby of all time from Teddy bees, which is hard Because soothe you guys heard heard me talk about soothe is a huge love of mine, too and it's hard actually to say which one of these I like better but Rain and woods. I know not everyone has this love that I do of it, but like this is everything to me. So I got two loaves of it. Rain and Woods is crunchy leaves, wet flowers, clove, balsam, patchouli, and sandalwood. But if any of those scare you, I don't necessarily think it smells like any of those. I think, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Like, so once again, crunchy leaves, wet flowers, clove, balsam, patchouli, and sandalwood. The first thing I think when I smell this is you're like in the Pacific Northwest and you're in like a forest and the, the ground is like very dark and damp and there's old leaves down there that are wet and you're walking on them. Like it's maybe, I guess in the Pacific Northwest, I was gonna say late fall, but probably not fall before there's any type of snow. And the air is like misty and heavy with cold mist. And the trees just smell really woodsy and like thick. And you get the coniferous needles, but then like on the trees, but then there's like the big leaf trees, the deciduous trees, dead leaves on the ground, wet. And you're stepping on them. And like, I I've described this before. It smells like, like a man or even like, like a man is wearing like a thick, um, flannel shirt and maybe they have a touch of woodsy cologne on just the tiniest bit but then they have like a musky manly musky scent to them and you give them a hug in this atmosphere that I'm kind of telling you about it's uh, maybe other people don't have this like picturesque idea of how this smells so I know a couple other people have loved like how I've described it and they've gotten it and not been nearly as excited about it so I'm sorry if that was you. This one throws so strongly to you guys. This is like one of the strongest waxes that I have, period. It's so magical to me. 
Also, it says there's clove. I don't smell much clove, and I'm a clove lover. I don't smell any, if it's there, it's just adding like a warmth, maybe. Even though overall to my nose, it's a cool scent because of the air. I don't know. It's very, very comforting and very special to me. I love it so much. Um, if I had to categorize it, I know some people think it's super masculine. To me, it's not uber masculine, but it is masculine. It's like a masculine, earthy, fresh. And it's magical. And I'm so happy to have two loaves of it. Um, I've melted through so much of this, I don't even know. And I will continue to buy it. It's magical and it's amazing. And I love it. So that's it, you guys. Like I told you, I super, super pared down. The scents that were offered, though, I easily could have, like, I, how do you say 10 times this? Like, I don't want to say quadrupled, quintupled, septupled, septupled, octupled. How do you go to 10? I don't know. Because um, her Tiffany's wax performs for me. It's beautiful. I love the aesthetic of her wax. She's a great human. Um, never have any problems with, um, you know, customer service. Just nothing. I just, she's just one of my favorite vendors, period. Um, and so I'm so happy to always purchase from her wax, um, from her. Now, if you guys know about her RTSs, they're usually insane. I will say though, the last RTS went very smoothly and I feel like most people got what they wanted. Um, there is always the wah wahing on the page. Um, and I, to me, it is a little bit annoying, but also I understand feeling the disappointment when like, maybe you just heard about Teddy Bees, you didn't get to take part in the pre-order. So you were trying to take part in the RTS and you didn't get it. But if you're going to take part in the RTS that she always does after her pre-orders, it goes fast. Tiffany tries her best to pour what she can, but people love Teddy Bees so much. Do not go and complain to her that you didn't get what you wanted because she's not going to like report and be like, oh, sorry, here it is. She'll probably offer something that's super wanted in the next pre-order. And I know that sucks. I know that sucks. But she's one woman and she can only do so much. So just keep that in mind, please. There are people that won't get what they want and they'll go right onto her Facebook wall like, I'm never ordering for you again because I didn't get what I wanted. Well, you know that's how it is. I often don't get what I want in the RTS. That's how it goes. Because I did a smaller pre-order, I probably will participate in the RTS. Um, one scent that I super love from her that I cut off my list and I stupidly, I shouldn't have is three eyed Raven. It's a really like cool air lavender woodsy blend. I love it very much. I want to try to get some of that, maybe some more of this cotton soft vanilla. Um, I want to say more hot girl summer, but I don't know. I might say, I'm sure this will come back every year because everyone loves it so much. And maybe a little bit more of Riverlands. Really, um, all of her Palo Santo blends, I love all year long, but especially in the fall and winter when I don't want something like cinnamon bakery, which I do like. Um, I love her Palo Santo blends. And then she also had a bunch of scents that were offered called like I Heart so-and-so, like, uh, what was it? I Heart Palo Santo Bakery, like a bunch of things like that that I wanted to get some of. So we'll see. I I'm going to go through the list again of what she's going to be offering. And I am going to try to get stuff. Um, so we'll see. Um, but anyways, that's that. I'm excited to see your guys' hauls. Also love me some Teddy bees. Um, I really don't have much coming you guys. I, um, if you're in like a couple of the other Facebook groups I got, so I got like Britta's, um, exorcist sampler. I got a rose loaf and a couple cuts from K's in fall sense. I got some pharmacist daughter Halloween advent, but just parts of it. I didn't get the whole one this time. I got some fright night stuff from super tarts. And then when Britta's does her, um, Halloween advent, I'll be getting that, but that's, that is like going to be it. So I don't think anything else is even coming in until like those pre-ordered things come in. I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be it. Um, and that's enough for like my fall. And then when Tiffany does her, um, like, uh, holiday stuff. I'll be doing that pre-order. Um, but really like I've slowed down so much cause I have so much wax to get through still. Um, I do have a lot of little super tarts pre-orders that I just kind of post on my Instagram and stuff. Cause 
a lot of the ones I've gotten recently are like four clamshells or something like that. Or like one bag and three clamshells or something. So I'll just post those on my Instagram. But really, that's it. Um, I've done so much better this year than last year. I'm going to do even better next year. Because some of this wax that I have back here, some of it's starting to lose scent. And I've really realized that, that there will always be wax for me to buy. And I don't always need to do huge, big orders. Um, except for like, you know, Teddy B's does three or four pre-orders a year. That's a whole different situation. Um... And then also, obviously, I always say if Rose Girls does a Mario pre-order, I'm always there for that. Um, but I have to learn to like use stuff up, which I do pretty well if you see my Wax Empties posts and videos. I do get through a lot, but it's not even close to what I had come in over the last couple years. So I really need to get rid of some of this stuff, melt it, share it, whatever, um, before I even think of continuing to order and really the rate that I'm ordering at now is much more I mean normal what do you want to call that quote unquote normal um for me to also consume in a more equal amount um <laughs> so there's that and then as much as I love vendor wax um retail wax especially like my the two Walmarts by my house each have like a wall of wax and they're all different scents and they've really bumped it up like they've really done a good job and so I've partaken in some more retail wax um which is a lot cheaper in general but I know it doesn't help small business as much so I try to keep that in mind sorry my nose is so itchy um so I don't know there's just more like options out there and I'm trying to just keep an open mind and also realize that I don't want to spend as much money on wax money or time or thought on wax um and I know I'm throwing all this extra stuff and it's just supposed to be a Teddy B's pre-order but I just kind of wanted to throw all this stuff in there I still love scent so much. Uh, I love perfume still so much. I, I like candles too, like especially like the Halloween Bath and Body Works candles and stuff like that. But I just don't like the maintenance of lighting them, blowing them out, then there's smoke in the air and the cats with the hot wax. Like I just, yeah, just not as much into candles, but I know there's a big group of you guys out there that are. And I think that's really cool. Um, so anyways, there's that bunch of blah, blah, blah. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying not sick. Um, this new variant is extremely communicable um, and has made me sicker than any other variant that I've had. Make sure you're getting your booster. My last booster was nine months ago. I need to get a new one after I'm fully over this um, because the boosters are only good for five to six months in general. Um, they are coming out with an Omicron uh, version, which this newest, um, variant is, is a variant of Omicron, but has a lot of characteristics of Delta. That's why it makes it extra scary. Um, but just keep in mind when you got your last booster and try to get that updated as much as you can. Um, so anyways, uh, stay well, keep up with your boosters, get excited for fall. September 1st starts Halloween season in my opinion. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.